University Police Department, and this is Assistant Chief Don Daniels, and I do have a recorder going. All right. Uh, let's just state for the record, it is now uh, 4 9 p.m. on December 30, 2022. This is Whitman County Superior Court Judge Gary Leiby on the record. Um, and uh, in, in, uh, would you please identify yourselves, and I'll place you under oath if you, whoever's going to testify about this. It's Assistant uh, Assistant Chief Don Daniels with WSU Police Department. Okay. Would you uh, please uh, uh, state and spell your name for the record? It's Don, D-A-W-N, Daniels, D-A-N-I-E-L-S. And, uh, uh, officer, would you please raise your right hand? Uh, do you swear or affirm the following testimony will be true? Yes, I do. All right, please proceed. Okay. On 123022, while serving a search warrant, number SW12292022A a for Steptoe Apartment G201, we found a padlock, round in shape, in the living room closet. Based on my training experience, I recognize the padlock to be the shape of locks typically used on storage units. The lock is round in shape, and the design limits the ability for somebody to cut the lock off. A key matching the lock was also found in the living room in the TV stand next to the keys, which appear to be for the Wilson Short office, which we also have a search warrant for. I had Officer Kirshner contact the apartment coordinator who confirmed there are storage closets available to residents located in some of the buildings, or excuse me, they're located in the same buildings as the laundry areas. Sergeant Petlevny went to the area and confirmed there's a storage closet with the address G201 written in black marker on the word, on the wood door. The storage closet is located in building F, as in Frank, of Steptoe Apartments. The storage door is not locked and the door is slightly ajar. I believe the storage unit or closet was likely used by Koberger to store the items and likely access between the time of the murders and his travel to Pennsylvania where he was later arrested. It is also believed the storage closet could contain or contains certain trace evidence listed in number one and number five of evidence to be seized in the above named search warrant. Um, I can read those to you. Number one is blood or other bodily fluid or human tissue or skin cells or items with blood or other bodily or human tissue or skin cells on the items. Number five, trace evidence including DNA from blood or skin cells or other source footprints, fingerprints, hair, whether human or animal or dog. Uh, I asked the judge, do you find this there to be probable cause to believe the items, excuse me, do you find there's probable cause to believe these items may be found in the storage unit? And do you authorize the, the search of the unit? Okay, thank you, officer. Okay, the court hereby finds there is probable cause to uh, search the uh, aforesaid described uh, storage unit for items as referenced in the search warrant. And uh, there's probable cause, and the court hereby authorizes you to sign my name, uh, Gary J. Livey, on a search warrant uh, to enter the aforescribed described uh, storage facility. Okay. I have signed your name. And it is... G-A-R-Y. Yep. J is in James L-I-B-E-Y. Correct. All right. Is there anything else, officer, to you? Currently, that's all I have. All right. All right. So then we will conclude this hearing. You may terminate the recording. Please maintain and keep the recording for reference uh, uh, for the Whitman County prosecutor and any other agencies. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Judge.